Waffle Creek Building Systems arrived on Majuro Atoll on the Marshall Islands, March 8, 1992. Pacific International Incorporated purchased this precast concrete structural system for use in the Marshall Islands and Micronesia. Upon arrival of the Waffle Creek molds, covers, and equipment, a site was selected for the production facility. A concrete slab poured for future tennis courts served as the casting bed. Site work for a sixplex townhouse project was well underway. Casting began as soon as the production facility was in place. W12, W16, and F24 molds were used to cast structural wall and floor panels for sixplex townhouse structures. These molds are ready for casting. The reinforcing steel is in place and window and door blockouts have been installed. Completed panels were stored adjacent to the casting bed. Ready mix trucks deliver concrete to the molds as a crew of seven men begins casting. The men place the concrete evenly in the mold. The men follow with a vibrating screed to consolidate the concrete and provide a finishing surface. This screed is designed specifically for use with the Waffle Crete system to vibrate a full 8 inches of concrete. Thorough vibration of the entire 8 inch mold depth is critical for proper consolidation of concrete around the reinforcing steel and the elimination of air pockets on the surface of the panel. The Waffle Crete system uses a high strength mix design, 4,500 to 5,000 PSI is typical. It is poured fairly dry with a slump of about three inches desirable. Water reducing agents are often used to decrease the water content and improve concrete workability, quality, and overnight strength. Demolding is fast and simple, even though the mold has a complex shape. After the hole formers are removed, bolted mold corners are loosened and the mold sides flex open, allowing the panels to be removed. Waffle creep molds are designed to be used on a daily basis. Insulated molds and covers cure panels overnight without the use of additional electric or steam heat. This 24-foot wall panel with large door and window openings is being lifted into position on the second story of the townhouse complex. In the erection process, wall panels are lifted by attachment to inserts cast in the top edge of the panel. Concrete is a preferred building material in this part of the world. Majuro is an atoll near the equator in the Pacific Ocean. It has intense heat, high humidity, and salt content in the air. Termites and typhoons occur on a regular basis. Building materials must hold up under extreme conditions and structures must be designed to withstand high winds. Panel storage is located close to the casting bed. Panels are stacked horizontally during storage. To prevent warpage or damage to the finish, stacking lumber is used between each panel. It is important that the lumber be located properly and that each strip of wood is placed directly above the one below it. Another wall panel is swung into position for erection. This panel also has a large window opening, illustrating that large openings can be cast in load-bearing panels.
an erection crew of four guides the panel into position as it is lowered by the crane. Bolts have been positioned in the adjacent panel for quick connection once the panel is in place. The Wafflecrete system is designed with bolted connections. Preformed bolt holes cast in the perimeter of the panel assure proper alignment and quick connection during erection. Panels are bolted together, wall panel to wall panel, wall panel to roof panel, and wall panel to footing or floor slab. Before the crane is released, the panel is checked for proper alignment and the bolts are tightened. Shims are positioned between the panels at each bolted connection. This assures a proper joint allowance of approximately 3 8 inch and prevents the bolts from being over tightened. This joint allows flex in the panel connection for normal movement of expansion and contraction. This roof panel has been cast at 6 foot instead of 8 foot in width. Panels may be cast narrower or shorter than standard mold size and still maintain their structural integrity as well as ease of erection. This panel will be bolted to an adjacent panel by a long bolt between the perimeter rib of the adjacent panel and the recessed rib of the partial panel. Floor-to-wall panel connections require drilling a bolt hole in the skin of the floor panel using the preformed hole in the wall panel rib as a guide. A bolt is placed through the floor panel skin and wall panel rib below. In the two and a half week period following the arrival and unloading of Wafflecrete equipment, Pacific International's production facility has been established. Local labor crews have been trained in casting and erection, and panels for two of the first six townhouse units have been cast and erected. By August of 1992, the interior finish work for the first sixplex structure is nearly complete, and a second sixplex structure is well underway. Pacific International is also building a 24-unit apartment complex using wafflecrete in a different building design. Local labor can be trained in a matter of weeks to form work crews capable of a high rate of efficiency and productivity. Wafflecrete International provides technical supervision and training to Wafflecrete producer builders during the initial projects. Design consultation is also available upon request. Each two-story townhouse has 1,700 square feet. The kitchen, living, dining room, laundry, half bath, and garage occupy the ground floor. Three bedrooms, a bath, and balcony are located on the second floor. Wafflecrete panels allow for easy installation of electrical conduit and plumbing within the void areas, making interior finishing easy. Gypsum board is attached to the panel ribs with furring strips. Wafflecrete has many applications. Pacific International used 24 foot by 8 foot high wall panels for a privacy fence around the perimeter of the complex.